<laughs> You'll never learn to fly unless you take the risk of falling. Dick Grayson, first Robin, holder of the mantle of Nightwing, and later becoming Batman, exemplifies this exact single quote. In fact, he is the first American comic book superhero sidekick to step out of their mentor's shadow and become their own person using their own identity. And with that, he is my shining light and example of how we can live our mentor's shadow and become our own person. He first took these steps into becoming his own person in his last days as Robin. In the issue of Batman 100, uh, 408, the Joker shoots Dick Grayson through his shoulder. He's left crippled. Bruce Wayne, Batman, he says, Dick, you're a child. I can't even think about putting you out there on the field because you're always so much in danger. And Dick Grayson later tells him, wait, that doesn't mean I can stop being a superhero. I still want to be me. But he leaves the mantle of Robin. He leaves Bruce Wayne's side as Robin. And in that, Bruce also takes up someone else to become Robin in his place. But how often times in our lives do we have something like that, where we talk to someone that maybe we look up to, and maybe they don't meet that same expectation as us? For me, it was my middle school mentor. It didn't change our relationship. We didn't change our friendship. But that growth for me and growth for him also had to happen. And in the same way, Dick Grayson is now flying solo. He's no longer Robin. But what is it good if you work alone? In the 1980s, the new Teen Titans concept comes about. Dick Grayson is a leader now of a full-fledged team of superheroes. You mention people like Starfire, Cyborg, Raven. All of these different characters are now under Dick Grayson's control as leader of the Titans. But in the most famous Teen Titans story, The Judas Contract, Deathstroke the Terminator, who is the main archenemy of the Titans, he brings in Tara Markov, who is this new team member that she is there to infiltrate and take information from the rest of the team. Dick Grayson doesn't know this. And later he finds out that, oh my gosh, all of them got captured by Deathstroke. But in that same vein, Deathstroke forces Dick Grayson to sort of make a decision. Are you going to save them, or are you just going to leave them in the dust? And in that, he takes up the mantle of Nightwing. He takes those next steps using inspiration from his parents, Starfire, Superman, and growing out of the shadow of Batman so he can become his own person, become his own person and his identity steadfast away from that mantle of Robin. But what also good is it when we have to go back to our former selves when we are forced to come circle about? And what I mean by that is in 2008, Batman dies at the hand of Darkseid. Darkseid is sort of the Marvel or the DC version of Marvel Thanos. So in that same concept, Bruce Wayne is killed. Bruce Wayne is dead. Gotham doesn't have a Batman. Dick Grayson says, wait, I need to step up. I need to stay all these people in Gotham. I need to be Batman. So Dick Grayson becomes Batman. But he also gets a brand new Robin. We also find out that Bruce Wayne has a son, and he's a brat. But Dick Grayson brings this little kid in. His name is Damien. He's like this short kid. He wants to kill everyone. But they're both now. They're both there. They're Batman and Robin. But one day, Damien Wayne says, I can't work with you. You're not like me. You're like my dad. You suck. So he crushes his communicator, and he throws it away. But Dick Grayson, is, he's just all disappointed. He's like, I can't do this. I don't know if I can be Batman anymore. So he's there sitting down on the sideline. Alfred, the awesome butler, he tells him, think of Batman like a role, like a Hamlet or a James Bond, and use it to play to your strengths. Dick Grayson uses that as motivation so that he can learn how to be a better leader, be a good family member, be the brother that Bruce Wayne never was the father to his own son. And in that way, they mend their relationship. They become the crime-fighting duo of Gotham City to protect everyone. And in, in that vein, when we're given those circumstances in life, when we're forced to be in those situations, he steps up to the plate, and he becomes that person. And in that, Dick Grayson, he fought with Batman. He stepped against Batman. He led his own team. He became a family guy. He did all of these things. And you see guys like Miles Morales, or even us as people, we can be that example. We can use Dick Grayson's example to become a better person, become a better role model. And like Dick Grayson said, don't ever forget the golden rule. The show must go on. Thank you. Woo!